more bad news for Tory Lanez, unfortunately. Tory Lanez, more bad news. Tory Lanez denied a new trial after conviction for the Megan Thee Stallion shooting. Lanez had called um, his December trial and guilty verdict a miscarriage of justice, but Los Angeles judge did not buy it. The star now heads for sentencing. And they're saying sentencing is going to happen usually sometime around June. And he's facing up to 22 years, which is nuts. He probably won't, hmm, I'm not going to say that, won't get that, because I feel like they want to make an example out of him. He probably will get that, unfortunately. Um, it's a real tragic way to kind of end this story. And of course, there's more information here, courtesy of Rolling Stone, because they've been really on the tilt to flip in, bury him and write some really scathing reports about Tory Lanez. So let's see what they say here. It says, Tory Lanez's request for a new trial was denied on Tuesday, according to City News Services. The rapper now awaits sentencing of being found guilty of the December shooting of Megan Thee Stallion. Lanez, whose real legal name is Daystar Peterson, and his legal team had indicated for several months after the guilty verdict that the, they'll be filing for a new trial, officially filing for the motion on March 29th. Um, the hearing for the new trial motion had been punted many times before finally getting on the way at Los Angeles on Monday with Judge David Hereford issuing the ruling on Tuesday. Peterson will be sentenced on June 13th per report of Megan Cunif, Cunif who's now been known as Megan the reporter because she's, you know, been reporting favorably for Megan the on this issue. It continues, it says... Los Angeles Times reporter James Queeley tweeted during the hearing on Tuesday that Peterson's legal team took an aggressive step and motioned to disqualify Hereford from the case, though Hereford still issued his ruling against the retrial. Attorney Joe Bays and Lane's team did file a motion to disqualify Hereford. I don't know on what grounds. Duh, duh, duh. So they tried to get the judge off the case, which probably wasn't a good idea. In Peterson's motion for the new trial, his attorneys, Joe Bays and Matthew Bahoma, said that the judge er erroneously allowed for jury to view an Instagram comment from Lane's personal account that refuted claims that Megan's former friend Kelsey Harris was a shooter. The filing also included declarations from Joshua Farris, an associate of Peterson, who claimed that he was the one who posted it. The court erred on the numerous questions of the law, allowing people to introduce the post, deprived defendant of trial, the motion said, the only acceptable remedy and miscarriage justice a new trial. Uh, prosecutors responded to the notion as Kanaka first reported, calling the court to dismiss the request and stating that Peterson failed to demonstrate any error by, uh, by the trial court in support of his motion. Uh, Peterson himself was purportedly dissatisfied with the case development with the source provider Rosone that he regretted not testifying during the trial and that he felt misled by his attorney not to testify. Peterson was convicted of three charges on all three charges on December 25th and faced up to 22 years. 22 years. Um, so what's my final case on this? My final opinion. My final opinion is most likely Tory Lanez is innocent. I think we can all kind of agree that the evidence so far isn't pointing to one person being the shooter. It could be many people. It could be two people, but it definitely isn't just Tory. Tory definitely isn't, I don't think, completely to blame for what happened. But, but the biggest issue I've always had with this story is that, you know, I'm I'm personally somebody that kind of advocates for the um, extreme ownership principles, right? Um, made famous by Jocko Wilnick. He's got a book about it. It's somewhere on my bookshelf. And I kind of prescribed to that kind of way of li living my life, extreme ownership. And at the end of the day, Tory Lanez only has Tory Lanez to blame. Even if Megan Thee Stallion did falsely accuse him of shooting him, which is probably the case, and he's going to go to prison, even though he's innocent, which is probably the case. At the heart of the issue, if Tory Lanez would have kept his dick in his pants and not tried to smash everything that moved, he wouldn't be in this position. If he just would have been happy with smashing two best friends behind each other's back, which is already a bit of a flipping flex and a W, especially considering he's flipping one is Megan Thee Stallion and the other one is Kelsey at the time where everybody was into. Why wasn't that enough? That wasn't enough. They end up going to Kylie's flipping house. Kylie ends up giving, Kylie Jenner ends up giving Tory Lanez the eyes. And from what we've been able to pass together, Kylie giving Tory Lanez the eyes is what then spurs the argument. Because the eyes lead to Tory Lanez acting up and trying to make a move. Then I think Megan Asadian leaves with, I think, Kelsey. Then they come back and get Tory because they want to destroy his night because, you know, fuck him. 
And then once they get into the car, an argument ensues and that leads to everybody finding out they're fucking each other, which leads to the shooting. So at the heart of it, if Tori would have just acted chill like Kylie's, saw the eyes and just took it as some innocent flirting and kind of kept it moving, none of this would have happened. But the fact that he allowed himself to get too excited, sorry, and to not keep his composure, to not drink some much needed water when needed, kind of put him in this trouble. And obviously he didn't take the right counsel from his legal team. Whoever told him not to testify was stupid. He should have been on that flipping. There should have been video footage. There should be clips. There should be video. There should be audio footage of Tory Lanez on the stand crying and weeping and saying, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. But he acted too cool. He was acting too reserved, too chilled, hoping that the, you know, the justice system would do him right. And obviously it didn't do him right. It fucked him over. He didn't take enough ownership of the narrative, as some people would say. He wasn't out here really fighting his case. He let the courts do it. He let his judges do it. He let media people do it. He didn't really come out and say categorically, hey, here's what happened. And if he would have done it, maybe it would have helped in the court of public opinion. Maybe it wouldn't have. But regardless, if the guy would have kept his dick in his pants, he would have never been in this position. And this, I think, should be a cautionary tale for most people. For most guys out there, should be a cautionary tale. Don't get too excited. Be chill. Be chill. Don't do too much. Act cool. Relax. Because if you don't, you could go from swimming in Kylie's pool to facing up to 22 years. Can you imagine that? Contrast. Swimming in Kylie Jenner's pool, she looked like a baby in a manger, I think he said in one of the lyrics, and now you're facing 22 years in jail, in prison, sorry, not jail, in prison. You're probably going to get, what's your thing called? He's probably going to get, um, what's that word called? Deported, right? As well on the back of this. You'll be a felon. It'll probably be hard for you to come in and out of the country. It's going to be a lot of adjustment. Now, it's going to change his life completely. I'm not sure what he's going to be doing, what's going, what's going to happen with his kid, if his kid was born here, born in the States, sorry, or born in Canada. I don't know. It's a whole lot of issues. But in the heart of it, in the heart of it, ascribing to the personal responsibility and extreme ownership type of thing, you have to just be able to keep your composure, in my opinion. That's what I think. But hey, what do I know? What do I know? Um, I wonder if Megan is sleeping well at night off the back of this because I've read somewhere that she's going to be filing a victim impact statement. So clearly she doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> she's going to be, you know, she's going to be sending in a victim impact statement. Someone's going to be reading it out. It's going to be really tearful and shit. So she's clearly going to be basking it because it's a bit too late because if you're Megan Thee Stallion, right? And let's imagine for one moment, or let's believe the narrative that she lied, that she purposely lied about Tory Lane shooting her. Let's believe that for a bit. Or what I like to believe, to be more charitable to her, is that she didn't really see him shoot her, but by the, you know, by the vibe of the argument and shit and the fact that they were fighting, let's just say it was him. So maybe she didn't lie flat out, but you know, whatever, it's still a lie. So if that's the case and you lied, why own up to it now? Just leave it alone. It's a bad vibes. You're putting an innocent man in prison. But it's probably worse if you own up to it now. It's sort of like fucking Juicy Smollett. If Juicy Smollett comes out tomorrow and says, all right, I own up to it. I did set up that whole thing with the Osandaro brothers. I did tell them to put a, you know, to flip and put a rope around my neck and pour bleach on me and say, this is MAGA country. It was me. It's probably going to do more damage. You're probably better off just keeping quiet and hoping it goes away. It's too late now. The opportunity for you to own up to your mistakes and to your lies has already gone. So I think with Megan Thee Stallion, if you did lie, you just got to like let that guy rot in prison. It's fucked up and shit. But if you come out and say that you lied, your life is fucking over. As you know it. You're going to have to move to Madrid with Amber Heard and shit. Megan ain't, Megan ain't doing no fucking... Uh, hola, right? She's not doing no hola. She's not doing no buenos dias. Buenos dias, sorry. She's not doing none of that shit. <laughs> Megan ain't gonna learn Portuguese, Italian, French. That's what's gonna happen. So if you're Megan Italian, you just gotta be like, you know what? Someone had to pay the price. 
My career is more important. I love my career more than I love you. It is what it is. And just kind of keep your mouth shut. And just refuse to do media probably until, you know, forever. Like, unless it's like white media. You know what I mean? Because like, they're not going to give you any hard hitting questions. Just refuse to do hip hop based platforms. Don't do podcasts and stuff. And just kind of live your life, you know, away from people. You would imagine so.